Hey guys, I just got done replacing the fan motor in the cold spot. Everything went well except for I, uh, one of my tools got damaged. The handle broke off my uh, Allen there. The new, brand new Fasco motor. Just got done wiring it up. Thanks to Brian Mullins for helping me uh, locate the right part. Drain tube's back in place. I got the drain hole right here. So it'll drain right out and come out of this tube here. Uh, not the Tacoom's a B, but I'm not sure what the hell this one is, but it should work just as well. Anyway, I have it wired in. Uh, I'm just going to do this as a fire it up so you can hear it start, and then I'm going to slip it back into the case. Start with a uh, high. Make sure, I got the, make sure I got the stat all the way down, too. I should, pretty sure. Come on, bitch, get on there. Yep. Uh, it goes high, cool. quick yeah before i continue i had to point out that i had to uh, fix that ground wire that i forgot and i also had to tie these uh wires up keep them out of the way of the compressor they can touch the coolant line but they can't touch the uh compressor itself just in case all right this thing is absolutely bitching now i have two extremely reliable units that will last me forever and uh, all, anything new will be replaced three or four times before this will be replaced once. Oh, yeah. I gotta get my window done too, but that's a story for another day. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Get an outside view quick. Oh, yeah. This mean, listen to this mean son of a bitch. Like I said, I was able to leave the uh, base pan drain out just in here so it can still condensate right. Because of this one, it don't matter with the plastic lining. I'm going to have a brief moment of silence here because for Flickr, this video is going to end. For my YouTubers, however, the video continues. Get ready for some uh, temp checks, too. Yeah, you can see the condensation running down those. Oh, yeah. Now, in all actuality, I got that thing running on low. I'm not sure how much of a use it's going to be on low, to be honest with you. But I, I feel like, uh, yeah, it'll work it. I can feel it pretty good. It's blowing out just as cold as that uh, fetters right there. Oops. Knocked over my beverages. Curiosity, just to fuck around with it a little bit. I gotta clean this garage up a little bit. Still gotta get my four wheeler put back together after the wreck. Try it on high. Yeah, as I was saying before, I gotta get my window put back together. 
which is uh, I think it's a plexiglass cut for the sides like it is for the fetters. And I'm gonna try to make the original window work to the top of it, but uh, the, Sears, the Sears units are a lot higher than the Stand back here and hear that. <laughs> Take a walk around the front and hear how loud it is from out back. Hang on. Oh, another fretters I just got yesterday. It's loud. Right, it's loud. Holy shit. You know, unfortunately, right now I can't run them both at the same time because I only have a uh, 30 amp sub panel out there, and uh, legally speaking, I can only have. The amount of circuit breakers I have can only add up to the to the amount of amper that the main breaker inside is. So if it's a 30 amp breaker, the total of breakers I have in there can't add up to above 30. Um, however, I am planning on pulling a uh, six gauge wire through it instead, and I put a 60 amp uh, breaker in so that I can have a 20 amp for that. A 20 amp for that, even though that one only needs a 15 amp. I don't even bother with 14 gauge wire to tell you the truth. I mean, technically speaking, what this thing is, uh, blocks the uh, tag. I think it's like, ah, uh, God, what the hell is it? 13 amps, I think? 14 amps? I can't remember offhand, but anyway, it's pretty exciting. I believe it is nine amps, like if I remember correctly. So technically I could get away with it, but it's just not up the code. So I could run both of these units at the same time, which the only time you would ever really need something that ridiculous is if it was like above 90 degrees and the sun beaming down, because this garage is uninsulated. Once I get the garage, well, most of it is. Once I get the rest of the garage insulated, I uh, should be good to go. And then I should have, I should only have to run one at a time. But it's nice to have an option. Nice to have to. The thing is, fuck, beast, man. Holy shit. High speed, and I'm getting the freaking. out here too. Really toasty. Well, not anymore in the garage, man. But outside it's nice and warm. Sounds nice. Which means a unit like this wouldn't be that bad in a house, to be honest with you. Probably run, I say I'll probably run on medium most of the time. EQK is almost ready to go back together finally. Yeah, I figured I'd do a uh, good temp check and a, uh, a good thorough video here. And uh, 
while I'm here, may as well ask what you guys think of the uh, the bronze cover or the gold cover I put on the uh, fetters. The only reason I went with that is because I could because the uh, actually I can actually the louvers actually do something. The other one that shoots it out straight forward. Like, I really gotta get this window fixed. It's high on my priorities right now. To be honest with you, I've gotta do do more when I have time. But anyway, uh, guys, let me know what you think. And as usual, thank you for watching my videos and let me know what you think of my install, this unit in general, and uh, any comments you you guys may have. Take it easy. I'm looking forward to reading the comments and feedback from you guys.